Greetings, dear friends! I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mitsubishi Lancer X. Fewer than a percent of cars have four-wheel drive, and most of them have variator, which breaks the last hopes for good dynamics or cross-country ability. In fact, the all-wheel drive here is entirely from the Outlander of the second or third generation, which is extremely similar to the Nissan Qashqai transmission, because they have the same variators as well as the clutch supplier. Here is the usual electromagnetic BW. Real EVOs are extremely rare in this generation. But you can buy a car with a manual gearbox since they are slightly less than half of a total number of cars on sale. Unfortunately, if we are talking about options with engines 1.5 and 1.6, then mechanics are not a panacea for problems with the transmission. The boxes are clearly too weak even for the 109 and 117 forces of these engines. They install units of the 2500A115 and 2500A22 4 series. After restyling, they began to install the Stroner 2500A252, but in fact, all the variants of these boxes are unsuccessful. But Motors 1.8 2.4 rely on much stronger versions of the 2500A115, A210, A278. The difference in the strength of the housing and shafts allows a series of boxes for more powerful motors not to suffer from bearing wear, and they do not have problems with synchronizers and differential at all. Here you need to skid long and hard to weld the satellite axle. When buying a car with a manual gearbox and a 1.5 or 1.6 engine, it's highly recommended to listen to the box on the left for hum and check the condition of the oil. Place a drop of the oil from the box on a napkin and look at the stain under a magnifying glass. If there is a copper in small quantities, it's not scary, this is the wear of the synchronizers. But steel or aluminum, bright pieces or grey drags, this is already wear of bearings and housing, fragments of gears and couplings. There are more cars with automatic transmission than mechanical ones. Gasoline engines 1.8 2.0 were combined with Jetco JF011E CVT. 6P Jetco GF61 3E were installed with rare diesel engines and on cars with 2.4 gasoline engines. On the sports versions, you can find the Getrek Preselective 6DS T470, but the most massive cars with 1.5 1.6 engines were content with the 4 speed automatic transmission F4A51. In original versions, it's possible to combine 1.8 to motors with a 6 speed GF61 3E and 1.5 motors with an F1C1 variator, but such options are a bit exotic in our market. Most of the cars are either with a 4-speed automatic transmission or with a JF011E variator. On cars after restyling in 2011, they not only changed the type of oil from NS1 to NS3, with an increased temperature range, more efficient at the same time cold and hot, but also received a heat exchanger in the system instead of the separate variator radiator cooling. From the point of view of the CVT warm-up speed, the solution is not bad, which is valuable for us, but the operating temperature of the variator with such a cooling system has increased even more. In this case, new oil doesn't save the unit, and regular overheating can significantly reduce its resource. But in general, in most cars the CVT is capable of passing its 200-280 thousand kilometers if the oil is changed sometimes and the problems with the wear of the solenoids and the step motor are treated in time. Further, the old belt will either require replacement or it will simply pull up cones, after which it will be easier to change the unit to a used one from warm countries. It's precisely because of the innate tendency to bully on the cold that their resource is greatly reduced in our country. It's however commanded to install a second radiator and for cars after restyling, just a radiator with a thermostat. In this case, the box, even on the highway and in city traffic, doesn't go beyond 100 degrees. And watch out for the radiator, its aluminum alloy corrodes, its pipes fall out and it leaks. The metal is thin and the radiator is located in the front wheel well, where there is a lot of dirt and reagents. The 4-speed automatic transmission F4A51 is found mainly on Hyundai cars, although this is a Japanese-made and venerable gearbox. The AKP, similar in design, was also installed on the first Solaris, one of the hints of our market after 2009. This box is even more reliable than a Jatka CVT, its breakdowns are associated either with a very strong oil contamination or with severe overloads and overheating. Breakdowns of planetary gears with motors 1.5 and 1.6 do not happen even with huge mileage, although this is one of the weak points of the transmission on other cars. While failures of speed sensors and wear of solenoids happen, especially if the oil is changed less often than once every 60,000 km, the wear of the brake band with runs over 300,000 doesn't turn out to be a flow. 
but when buying a very run card, this is worth remembering. For a potential owner of the 10th Lancer, this question is important only if you count on very high mileage and the service life of the car is noticeably over 300,000. Well, or for some reason, your load will be more than average, for example, you are planning to drag a trailer. Despite all the abundance of engine options, the vast majority of engines on our market are 1.5 and 1.6 series, 4A91 and 4A92, created in cooperation with Daimler Chrysler for the net car plant, and large engines 1.8B10, 2.0B11 and 2.4B12, created under the JAMA, Global Engine Manufacturing Alliance program. The larger line of engines is in many ways similar to the Theta and Theta 2 series from Hyundai, Kia and Chrysler's World Engine. They have the same blocks, cylinder heads, crankshafts and most of the attachments. However, they are not completely interchangeable and they differ in terms of resource and main problems. They are made at different factories with different tolerance and different suppliers of components. As practice shows, this is enough for their reliability to differ significantly in operation. Why can you blindly transfer the operating experience of the very common Theta and Theta 2 series motors to the Lancer? The settings are slightly different, the engines have different inlets and the electronics can be very different. The alliance collapsed in 2009, after which the modernization of the engine lines proceed in parallel, but in different ways. Hyundai, as the richest company of the three, has improved the range of engines to the maximum, introducing into series production versions with direct injection and ensuring the best performance and compliance with the latest environmental standards with minimum tolerances. But Mitsubishi pulled out with innovations to the last, since there was no money for modernization. However, Japanese thrift didn't go to harm. The motors even became a little simpler and cheaper due to the abandonment of the second phase regulator after 2011. And although there are badasses in the 4B1 line, they are much less common than on Hyundai cars. It's possible to stumble upon a motor with bullying, but the chances are low, while the G4 KD pistons locking down are cut in two to the third. Technically, the motor is moderately progressive, an aluminum block cast iron sleeves, a timing chain drive, 16 valve cylinder heads, an oil pump drive by a chain, optional balancing shaft in the pump housing, versions with supercharged and direct injection, and a very high degree of boost. In general, the motors turn out to have a good resource, and this is with the very low weight and high efficiency. Engines pass their 250-350,000 km relatively easily, but after 200,000 a progressive oil appetite usually begins, especially if the interval between maintenance is 15,000 km. When operating in sparing modes with oil changes of up to 10,000 and when using high-quality oils, these limits are easily pushed back to 500. In any case, there are enough such examples. The resource of the chain is not bad, it can go through about 200,000, but during urban operation there are also instances in which it rattles up to 120, and in this case it's better not to pull with replacement, this is far from a two-row roller chain of both cars, it can break off, and the wear of the gears is progressing. The replacement price doesn't buy too much, there are no very expensive components, so even in the case of a short resource, you will not have to tear your hair, as in the case of MB M271. Unfortunately, the motor has enough minor troubles, they are clearly related to the quality of various small things. So, cross-cutting gaskets of the collectors, leaking inlet and leaking stuffing boxes and damage to the pipes are clearly related to the quality of the materials used. After 5 to 8 years, you can start to gradually change everything that potentially wears out and loosened up, so that the engine remains clean and powerful. A separate trouble with the motor wiring, breaking of the wiring connectors on the injectors and crumbling insulation of the engine side by the age of 10 is not what is expected from a Japanese car. These problems are still a little hassle, but they are, and this must be taken into account when buying, the age of many cars is just at the limit. As for the seizures of the piston group and the crankshaft, they happen here but they do not become a mass phenomenon, since the Japanese have chosen slightly different thermal clearances, and the pressure of this oil pump and the actuation pressure of the oil nozzles on 2.4 engines is slightly higher than on analogs from Hyundai. But if you hear a cold tapping, then checking with an endoscope will not hurt. Such a check is specially recommended for motors with mileage of up to hundreds of thousands and with owners who do not like to warm up these very motors. The other series of engines 4A91 and 4A92 is less successful. All the shortcomings of the B1 series have not gone anywhere. The elements of electrical component, rubber products, gaskets and similar trifles are poorly made. Such troubles are not fatal but usually begin to bother the owner of the car only closer to 100,000 kilometers. 
Not so little, although by the standards of Japanese brand it really is a failure. But sometimes else is worse. Originally developed under very strict European environmental requirements and together with Daimler Chrysler, at the same time the companies were in an alliance, the engine turned out to be prone to oil appetite and early wear of piston rings, rapid aging of oil seals due to high operating temperatures. It is characteristic that with a nominally very decent volume of oil filling of as much as 4 liters, the shape of the crankcase is such that with half of this volume, the engine can easily remain without oil pressure, with the liners pulled up. In general, the level and consumption of oil must be monitored along the way. Change the oil more often, prevent the slightest overheating and poor low coking oil. At first, after replacing the 1.5 by 1.6 motors, everyone was delighted, hoping that the problem was solved in the newer series. But it turned out that the new range of engines, if not better, is not much better. The same problems arise with slightly higher or the same mileage. But the engine is very economical, relatively simple and easy to repair. Even under the tie hood of a small Colt or Smart, there are no problems. In under the hood of the Lancer, you can put two such motors. It has a good timing chain resource, a fairly strong catalyst, and it doesn't smoke until the last. If the engine eats oil, it's not so expensive to change rings or even pistons. You can also insert liners. A set of spare parts will cost a ridiculous 18-20 thousand rubles. But for a Japanese car with runs up to 100 thousand, the engine bulkhead due to oil consumption is extremely unpleasant. Of course, everyone has problems. Let's remember the same Toyota IZZ2ZZ. Its ambitious problem was that there was not enough money for modernization and the issue was resolved very slowly. Unhappy owners of cars often faced active opposition from warranty services. On this information about the problems of Mitsubishi Lancer X is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.